What is up, my fellow members of the CLC? Bohemian Rhapsody. A lot of hype surrounding this movie. It's the highly anticipated story about arguably the greatest frontman in the history of music, the late, great Freddie Mercury. The trailers for this look excellent. Rami Malek is apparently America's sweetheart now because of his role on the show Mr. Robot, which everyone and their mother says is like the greatest thing ever. I've personally never seen it. I saw this movie yesterday and my initial reactions were were mixed, but as time has gone on, I've, I've liked it less and less. This, this movie's bad, guys. I mean, I mean, this is a major disappointment. And in some ways, I wanted this to happen because this movie is directed by Brian Singer who is an alleged pedophile and has been for a long time. And in this day and age, the age of the, the Me Too movement, the fact that this guy is still allowed to have his name attached to movies, I think is, is, is garbage. But as far as the quality of the film itself, is separating art from reality, I have to admit the movie is well-directed. The costumes are great. The art direction is wonderful. I really like the dynamic but between the other three members of the band, I, I thought that they were just kind of going to be afterthoughts. But no, they had they had their own thing, and I really liked them together. I thought the casting with all of them was great. When Rami Malek is on stage recreating Freddie Mercury's performances, it's stunning. I mean, it really is like watching Freddie Mercury come back to life and, and the original members of Queen all back together. It, it's awesome. And, and if... If that's all you want to see, then you'll probably really like this movie. If that's just what you came for, you'll probably dig it. But personally, I, I wanted a lot more, and that's why I'm disappointed. And that's kind of where we get into the bad elements of this film. This movie at points feels like a parody of a rock biopic, and it kind of starts with the performance by the main actor. I guess Rami Malek is a good actor. I mean, he tries really hard in this movie, but this this isn't Freddie Mercury. Now, I, I never got lost in his performance. It, it almost felt like an SNL sketch at points, and the reason for that is because despite the fact that Rami Malek is working his ass off, they give him these horrible, oversized, fake teeth, and he spends the entire movie just fighting to avoid having them fall out of his mouth. And they, they showed Freddie Mercury at the end of the movie, the real Freddie Mercury. I've seen interviews with the real Freddie Mercury. His teeth weren't that big. It's a really weird decision. I, a lot of people might say this is a nitpick, but I, I think it really hurt his performance. You can, you can physically see in the movie the points when he's like trying to avoid this, having these fake chompers falling out of his mouth. I feel like there were scenes where they cut uh, before they were supposed to because had the camera have stayed on Rami Malek's face, uh, they, they would have fallen out. This is where the operatic part comes in. Oh, oh shit! I'll say this. The movie got better as it went along. Uh, the first half really annoyed me because it was just portraying Freddie Mercury as this ahead of his time genius which that okay that's fair he was but but the idea that he just had a monologue for everything and he could sway anyone's opinion uh, i'm so so sick of scenes in movies where it there's like a conference or a meeting with a bunch of guys in suits and the the big corporate muckety mucks are saying no. We you can't do this. This is this isn't the way it's supposed to be. You can't have this music. This can't be your lead single. No, 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 no. And, and then of course you know Freddie Mercury has to step in and say, "No, oh, darling, you just don't understand music. You don't understand. You'll regret the day you turned your back on Queen." And, and Bohemian Rhapsody is going to be our lead single. And all of a sudden, the other people in suits go, Oh, oh wow, okay, wow, my, my, my entire opinion has changed in the course of this two-minute conversation. Ugh. And also, one of the muckety-mucks in the film is played by Mike Myers, who does a good job, but he's in this movie as like an in-joke. Because there's that famous scene in the original Wayne's World movie where him and Dana Carvey are... are driving down the road and and belting the lyrics to Bohemian Rhapsody. And there's even one point in the movie where Mike Myers 
is saying in his uh, Irish accent, which we've never heard that before, no kids are going to want to be driving uh, down, the, down the road and, and be belting this operatic song with the Galileos and, and Galilees. Uh, uh, no one's going to like it. It's like, get it? Kids driving down the road belting this song? Get it? Get it? Boo! I mean, they, they had a potential here to really make something amazing. They had the opportunity to, to humanize this, this musical deity, and they failed. The big climactic scene is, is the big performance at Live Aid. It's one of the most famous uh, uh, live uh, performances of all time, and the movie makes it seem that Freddy was dying of AIDS, and him and the band, they pulled it together for this one final amazing performance, when in reality... Freddie Mercury wasn't diagnosed with AIDS until three years after that fucking performance. Lies. Lies on top of lies on top of lies. Four out of ten. Four out of ten for this movie. I, I, I might seem like I hate it. I don't. It's mainly just forgettable. Yeah, but it's just such a missed opportunity that, that there are elements of it that I hate. I hate wasted potential. I feel like they could have had something there and they just... They glossed over too much, so 4 out of 10. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this movie and try to be civil. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that, hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. Pretty please. I need more subscribers here. Come on, guys. Come on. Show me some love. And you can follow me on Twitter. That's at Castellani2014. That's at C-A-S-T-E-L-L-A-N-I-2014. Hope to see you on my feed. I love you guys very much. Peace and happiness. Never stop losing.